Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Saturn in our birth charts and what it represents. If you're not sure where Saturn was placed during your time of birth, there is a birth chart link down below. If you do not have your time of birth, you can check the Saturn table to find out where Saturn was placed during your time of birth. Saturn is known as a malefic planet, which means that Saturn brings challenges and obstacles into our lives. Unlike Jupiter, where Jupiter expands and brings about lots of luck and blessings, Saturn restricts us. It sets limitations, boundaries, and restrictions on our lives. Saturn is also known as the planet of karma and is also known as the planet of the ultimate rewards. Saturn rules time. It is very slow moving. It takes Saturn about 28 years to orbit the sun. Saturn loves structure, discipline, and authority. Saturn is the natural ruler of Capricorn. Capricorn is the natural ruler of the 10th house of status. It is our public persona. So Saturn actually represent a very important part of our life. It is the peak of our chart. It is what we want the world to see us as. That is what Saturn represents. Wherever Saturn sits in your birth chart, that's the area of your life that you want the world to see you as amazing in that area however saturn will not make it easy for you saturn will make you struggle saturn will make you feel like you cannot achieve in this area of your life no matter how hard you try no matter what sacrifices you make you will feel like you cannot achieve in this area of your life but that's not true have you ever heard someone say that when your Saturn return, that is when you should get married? That is when you should put in for that special type job that you always wanted? Well, the reason why they're saying that is because when your Saturn returns, usually around the age of 27 through 30, that is when you've matured. That's when you should have learned the lessons of Saturn and now you're ready to receive the blessings of Saturn. Because a lot of times if you do something that's major in your life before your Saturn returns, then you're probably going to have to go back and redo it depending on where Saturn sits. The house that Saturn sits in in your birth chart is very important. And also to look at the houses that Saturn is looking at, the houses that Saturn is aspecting as well, because these are the areas of your life where you're going to face the most challenges and obstacles, okay? So those of you who are new to the channel welcome to the channel and i hope that you will subscribe and also share my content let's get into the video so what happens when saturn comes into the zodiac sign of gemini first of all what is gemini Gemini is the natural ruler of the third house. Mercury is the natural ruler of Gemini. Gemini is the sign of communication. It is the sign of the intellect, um, early development. It is a very sociable sign. The third house is the house of our social structures. It also represents our siblings as well as our neighbors, our short distance travel, things of that nature. Um, how we learn to communicate with and through our siblings as well as our neighbors, okay? So Saturn comes in with this restrictive type energy, this grounding type energy, bringing in all kinds of structure, you know, bringing in and setting boundaries 
for Gemini where Gemini's are usually very curious you know they're outgoing in a sense and sometimes Gemini's could be a tad bit scattered brain or they can just kind of like be all over the place you know like they don't like to stick to one particular subject or one particular topic they can just jump from boom boom one thing to the next thing like constantly like a kid would do because gemini's are known as the kids of the zodiac so saturn comes in here and start creating structure and actually saturn in the sign of gemini is not a bad place at all in all actuality i actually like the way saturn brings structure to gemini's social abilities now in the early years like when they were young a lot of saturn and gemini type people they didn't talk a lot or they probably had problems with their speech. There were some type of delays when it came to their communication style, their communication way. Maybe when they talk, people didn't really understand what they were talking about, or they had a very difficult time getting their point across, or they just kind of like was just really shy, or they talk really, really low, like very soft, like because they have these insecurities of talking loud or saying the wrong thing so a lot of times in early development saturn and gemini's they just learn to kind of like keep their mouths closed and, and as they get older they do start to come out of that energy a little bit if they are really paying attention to themselves and starting to step outside of their fears of speaking up talking when they want to talk then yeah, they kind of like grow out of this energy in a sense. One thing about Saturn and Gemini type people is they have sharp minds. They are, they can be very smart, but for some odd reason, they have a very difficult time articulating what they have in their mind into the real world. But they're very stable in their mind. They're not like the normal Gemini type where they kind of like scattered all over the place Saturn brings in structure so their thinking process they're able to really focus on one particular thing one particular topic or subject for an extended period of time without losing interest so Saturn and Gemini's are a lot different than a Sun and Gemini you know because they are able to really really ground themselves and really pay attention to what's at hand right now the obstacle that Saturn brings into play for Saturn and Gemini type people is criticism, just being really critical, very, very critical on themselves, um, how they think, um, how they speak, you know, how they socialize with people. They become very critical. They can be extremely critical of themselves, causing themselves to not even want to communicate. But in all actuality, Saturn and Gemini's, you definitely need to work on your communication. You need to um, sometimes talk to yourself in the mirror if you want to. If you're gonna have to talk to someone or you have to do a meeting or something the next day you need to try and practice at home practice in the mirror you know and just really build up your confidence on speaking in front of crowds speaking to people who you feel are your authority or, or whoever people who are your peers as well you really need to practice on speaking and realize that you're just a person just like everybody else and if you make a mistake or you say something that's not right who's no one's going to ridicule you it's not going to be a big deal you're going to be harder on yourself than anyone else will ever be on you when you about your speaking about your speech or how you you know articulate things okay so always keep that in mind so whenever you feel like you're not gonna say the right thing or you're just gonna be uncomfortable with speaking to people try to get out of that mode okay try to get out of that mode and realize that you are amazing you are a talented speaker you are the person who speaks the best so like once you overcome your fears in this position you can become some of the greatest speakers that ever lived like seriously, you guys can become those teachers where you can be a speech 
teacher or you can definitely be like a news anchor or something um, a reporter you guys become amazing once you learn to let go of the fear the insecurities of speaking okay um, and also don't don't hold back what you think you know don't feel don't criticize your thoughts that they're not good or your ideas don't criticize them as if they're not good ideas because they are I'm sure they are great ideas but you have to you know find that confidence to articulate your ideas to the world to the people who is going to change your life because you guys can make great writers you know I know you guys are just like the type of people you want to be perfect because Saturn wants structure and but Saturn restricts us although you want to be a great speaker you want to be a great writer you want to be a awesome innovator in a sense an awesome thinker Saturn restricts that in a sense right it makes us feel like our thoughts are not good enough you know our speech is not good enough it makes you feel like okay you're just not good enough but in all actuality you're you're grand enough you're better than enough right I feel like Saturn and Gemini's have a great balance of youthfulness as well as wisdom so I feel like you guys still you love to learn just like Gemini's curiosity although it has been restricted in a sense and structured in a sense you guys are still very youthful you still have that youthful energy but in now you're just wiser you know instead of you bouncing all over the place you're just kind of like you know the type of person who can just really stand still and just really focus on what's at hand you know, Saturn and Gemini's are also really good with finances you guys can be really really good because you're very intelligent with Gemini's intelligence and then you have Saturn's structure Saturn and Gemini's in their younger life sometimes they could have dealt with loneliness or sorrow um, in a sense um, some Saturn and Gemini's could have been the only girl or the only boy or they could have been an only child child or an older child in a sense and they actually had to take on different type of responsibilities or sometimes they didn't feel like they had friends they kind of like felt like they were had to be all alone to themselves and that really made them feel bad in a sense so with that being said I feel like a lot of Saturn and Gemini type people they kind of like you know felt insecure from a childhood so it kind of like follow them into their adulthood but those of you who are waiting for your Saturn to return around the age of 27 through the age of 30 I feel like you guys would definitely be able to step into your your maturity where you'll be able to start speaking out understanding that you do have a voice um, understanding that your ideas they are important understanding that you know stop criticizing yourself and being so hard on yourself because no one is stopping you from being a great speaker but you no one is stopping you from speaking up but you yes saturn puts this energy in front of you places this obstacle of criticism self-doubt when it comes to your communication but it's up to you to step outside of those fears and do what you came here to do and that is to be a communicator okay so with that being said you guys i hope this helped you guys out and until the next time i wish you so much love peace and so many wonderful blessings bye